Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can install Windows 11 on a PC which do not have the TPM technology. So basically, you can see that it is Intel uh, Core i5 Gen 7 and it is the Lenovo IdeaPad 320. I don't know the version of this laptop, but it is a 7th gen Core i5 laptop. So uh, here you can see that I have also already created a bootable USB with the Windows 11. And you can see that it is already attached to the computer. Uh, okay, now we need to go to the recovery mode. And uh, basically, first I'm going to go to the BIOS and show you that there is not a, a TPM 2.0 available on this computer. So basically, to go into the BIOS, basically, uh, here is a recovery. Uh, basically, Lenovo, Lenovo laptop has this thing, the one key recovery. So if I have to press this thing, and it's going to restore the so sort of power on the computer. So now I press that one, and now you can see that the uh, computer is powered on. So here is the, now you can see that there is the normal startup, and there is the BIOS. I'm going to the BIOS. So you can see that I am on the uh, using the arrow keys basically, and now press enter, and here is also the thing, and enter. Okay, now you can see that I am in the BIOS, and in the security tab you can see that uh, there is not the TPM 2.0 chip available, and instead you can see that there is Intel Platform Trust technology. So you can see that it is by default enabled and. The secure bot is enabled. I'm going to disable it. Uh, even though, yep, you have to simply disable it uh, because uh, you cannot simply boot the USB if the secure bot is enabled. So you can see uh, if you saw that uh, you are even disabling the secure bot, even again, you cannot boot into the uh, computer, then in that case, you have to simply choose reset to setup mode. Uh, here is you can see that reset to setup mode simply click enter and then it's going to reset everything and Everything will be set up for you. So at the moment. I'm going to restart the computer and We'll go to the BIOS of the computer. So sorry. We'll go to install Windows 11 on this computer So I'm going to choose just start changes. I'm not even going to uh, basically save the uh, BIOS thing so yes and now it is restarted and again hold a moment until it's going to restart the computer and it will be uh, so by default Windows 11 already installed on this PC I have uh, previously I have installed it here so there is no need for me to pretend that Okay, now you can see that I basically Windows 11 is restarted and now you can see that I am in the login of the Windows 11. So basically uh, here you can see that uh, there is a power button. You can see that it is down there. So I'm going to simply uh, click on it and going to restart the PC. So hold the shift key on the keyboard. Now you can see that I'm holding the shift key plus I'm going to click on the uh, restart key uh, and now press restart anyway. And now it's going to restart the PC uh, into the, I think, uh, advanced recovery option where we are, we are going to choose the USB and going to install the Windows 11 on this PC. Sorry, on this laptop. And we have to wait. And again, wait. And you have to choose simply from here. Use a device. You can also use the uh, mouse if you wish. So again, press, press EFI USB device. So now you can see it is booting the USB. I told you that uh, the secure board is enabled and this PC do not have the TPM 2.0 technology, sorry, chip. And we have to wait until it's going to the install setup window where uh, we are going to perform a clean installation of the Windows 11 on this computer. So we have to wait for a moment until the uh, installation should appear. So congratulations to me because it is available or con congratulations to you that 
we are in the installation of the Windows 11 so simply click next and install now and hold on okay now here you can see that here is the windows uh, 11 versions all available in this iso uh, you can download it from the intozoom.com just choose windows 11 pro next click i accept the license next choose custom and delete the drive and simply click next and it's going to install the Windows 11. However, if you saw that you cannot bypass this problem, sorry, if you stuck here uh, with the error of this PC, you can't install Windows 11. So simply you have to go to one step back and then on the keyboard, press Shift and then F10. Sorry, I cannot, uh, my hand cannot reach the, okay, I'm going to press this thing, Shift F10. Now you can see that I'm pressing, here is the Shift key. And here is the F10 key. Press this to on the keyboard. Okay, unfortunately, it is not opening, so I have to press this to. This to where is F10? F10, 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 F10. Where is that one? Okay, here it is. Shift F10. Oh, now I remember why it's not working. You have to simply also uh, hold on the Fn key also, which is the function key. Fn shift and then F10. Here is the F10. Now you can see that the uh, black screen of the notepad is now available here. So here you have to type notepad.exe or notepad. Simply, you can see that here is the notepad. So I have to zoom it. So you should not face any problem and then enter and now you can see that it is the notepad window uh, go to file click open and from here you have to simply uh, choose all files and now you can see that okay go one step back and again all files sorry this pc and usb here is the USB, yeah. Now you can see that here is bypass TPM. Remember, if you face that this PC can't install Windows 11, you have to use this step. Otherwise, do not use this step. Uh, your PC has the Intel uh, Trust platform, I think that was, that chip. Whenever that is available, you can simply install Windows 11 without any issue. That is all, man. So for the moment, I'm going to exit all this stuff because I've already performed a clean installation of this computer and now all the settings all each and everything is available on the pc so if i have to uh, perform a clean installation again uh, it is going to basically remove all the data all the preferences all the settings which i just set up uh, it will be a waste of time for me so here you can see that it is booting again into the windows 11 which i have already installed you can if your pc has uh, i only wanted to show you that if your pc has the intel trust platform uh, i don't know what was that something like that one uh, you can install the windows 11 uh, inside your computer so the way i have installed it here uh, so let me again i have to show you what was the name of that thing uh, open with vlc now you can see that this is the windows 11 which i am using for daily purposes at the moment mm. yeah that is uh, Intel platform trust technology Intel platform trust technology so that is the name you have to remember if your PC has Intel trust platform technology you can install Windows 11 without any uh, issue so till next time have a nice time and goodbye also do not forget to subscribe into God YouTube channel and uh, share the video if you like it so have a nice day and goodbye